Hey girls. Today is Thursday, April, I don't even know my days anymore, 9th. And actually, it's a holiday weekend for some of us. I will be um, celebrating on Sunday. And we also have a, a little time off. Um, there will be no instructional videos that are posted uh, Friday and no instructional videos that are posted on Monday. So a little break or a chance for you to catch up. So I haven't shown my trusted assistant lately because honestly, he's always barking to get outside. And right now you might notice I'm kind of moving around because he keeps trying to get away from me. So there he is. Say hi, Mac. There's my assistant and he's going to probably run away in a moment. Yep. There he goes. Yeah, so if you hear him barking in the background, that's because that's his way of yelling at me uh, to pause the video and go let him outside if nobody else does. But the days have been nicer, so it's good to get out. All right, so let's actually get to today's lesson. I have a feeling you are going to be going through that. So today, this is a review from Lesson 31. Oh, you might hear him in the background. Mixed sums is the title on one and on your problem set. And our other plan sheet is how to add mixed numbers. So yes, I did pause the video and I had to let Mac out because he was being a bugaboo. So Let's take a look at our examples here. Our mixed numbers in the first example, two and two fourths plus two and one fourth. And this is going to be pretty basic. I'm going to add the ones. Two ones and two ones gives me four ones. And then I'm going to add the fractions. Two fourths and one fourth gives me three fourths. That's my answer. Two and two fourths plus two and one fourth equals four and three fourths. Let's look at my second example. One and three fourths plus one and two fourths. First, I'm going to add my ones. One plus one equals two. Three fourths plus two fourths equals Five fourths. Now you know what I'm going to say about that. You can say it for me. I know that five fourths is the same as having one whole or four fourths with an extra one fourth. So my answer ends up being two three and one fourth. So final answer, one and three fourths plus one and two fourths equals three and one fourth. Now I want to show that on my number line. So I ranged my number line from zero to four because I knew that the answer since it was three and one fourth, I couldn't stop at three. I had to go one more hole. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to partition my number line into two fourths. There's four parts in between zero and one. Between one and two. between two and three, and between three and four. So first, I'm going to represent the ones. One, two. There's my two. Now I'm going to go an additional five fourths. One, two, three, 
four, five. And where do I end up? I ended up at three and one fourth, which was my answer when I originally added. So now we're going to do a few examples together. All right, so let's do some examples together. If it helps, pause the video, write down the examples, and try to solve them by yourself, or unpause the video and solve them with me. It's up to you. So our first example is two and three eighths plus one and five eighths. And remember, I'm going to start simply by adding the ones. Two ones plus one one is three ones. Then I'm going to add my fractions. Three eighths plus five eighths equals eight eighths. Huh. Well, I know that eight eighths is just another one. Three and one gives me a final answer of four. So then my second example, one and four fifths plus three and three fifths. Again, start by adding my ones. One and three is four. Then I add my fractions, four fifths plus three fifths is seven fifths. Well, I know I can't leave it like that. I pulled out one, and I still have two fifths left. So my final answer, four, five, and two fifths. And my last example, three and five sixths plus two and four sixths. Start with my ones. Three and two is five. Five six plus four six equals nine six. Not going to leave it like that. Pull out one, one hole. Still have an extra three sixths. So my final answer, five, six, and three sixths. Good luck on your problem set in your new packet. And remember, there will be no instructional video tomorrow, Friday, or on Monday. So have a great long weekend. Bye.